Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hittersville, Tennessee. And today we're doing a little walk around on a 1968 Chevelle. This one here is a 350 under the hood, not the original motor. Power steering. We do have front disc brakes. The AC compressor and stuff is still there. It's not hooked up and not working. Nice set of aftermarket wheels with good tires on it. Drum brakes in the rear. Dual exhaust out the back. What I like to do is point out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're buying when you get here. We're gonna be going over all the lower panels, uh, checking the undercarriage, the interior, trunk, under the hood, starter up, listen to the motor. Anything you might need to know, we're gonna go over here. You can check us out, maplemotors.com. I have financing available as well as shipping and close to 100 detailed pictures of every car on the lot. Get started up here in the front. You know, looking down the side of this car, it looks very straight. We're gonna get up close and personal here in a minute, all the way down each side. Front bumper has been replaced. The grill is in great shape. Headlight bezels look nice. We're gonna hit the lower panels first. You see this trim's got a little bit of issues. So the chrome's trying to come off in certain spots. Looking at the lower panel here, it's in good shape. Even the trim looks good. A few little chips back here in the corner. We went down the lower portion, we're gonna come back to midsection, look for any dents, scratches. New door handles. And I know it's gonna come up, because it always does with a Chevelle. A Malibu is a trim package of a Chevelle. They're all Chevelles. <laughs> trim looks good around the windshield a little, a little loose there what we're going to do on this vinyl top is I, I like to check around it uh, and feel for any kind of bumps this one actually feels fairly new somebody has replaced this one if I feel a bump up under this I'm going to point it out that means there's rust but so far so good and generally you're not going to have issues in the dead center it's always going to be around the edges just from my experience i'm sure there is other circumstances right below the trim though we have some bubbles popping up here that almost looks like chemical peel uh it's just a reaction from the paint Trying to get it to pop up. So they definitely replaced the rear bumper. That looks good. This is just a magnet tag we stick on everything. The weather stripping in the trunk is in good shape. truck itself has been repainted but it doesn't look like they covered up any rust it could have had some surface rust on it normally if you see rust it'll be just like big bumps popping up everywhere uh, a little bit right here actually in this corner that's the kind of stuff that you would see probably a little weak over here on this side but for the most part the rest of the trunk looks pretty good that looks like just a little bit too much paint there. Let's check up in our package tray. Uh, let's see what this edge is doing here. They've definitely worked this a little bit, or looks like they kind of beat it up with like a hammer or something. 
Other than that, it's not bad for a 68 model. Somebody was trying to make sure the mice don't get in here. All right, see how the trunk shuts. Solid. Edges here have some spots on them. Most parts in good shape. Doesn't look bad. All right, I'm gonna hit these lower portions, come back to midsection and hit the rest of the top. This car is in great shape. And if you watch the test drive, you'll see it does have some power. Uh, a little bit of work done to this 350. I, don't, I didn't build the internals. You can definitely feel it in the gas pedal. Paint's a little thick in the corner there where it ran down. We picked up some dirt on the test drive. Just driving over here. It's a little wax, you gotta wipe off with a towel. Coming back to midsection. It's like new mirrors, door handles on this side as well. And of course the top section. All the trims nice and shiny, looking good. I'm gonna check around this top, see if I feel anything. Of course, that midsection is all good. Gotta love a red car. All right, we're gonna go ahead and check the interior out. Go ahead, start thinking. You think this horn works on this one? Do a little game on this channel. Play some bets at home. If the horn works, if the radio works. Hey, why not if the blower motor works on this one? This car here actually smells like a, like a vinyl cleaner. I guess probably where it got cleaned up. The dash is in good shape. Do have an aftermarket radio, but it's quite old. The package tray looks good. These corners over here, I call this a mechanics headliner because every time they have little wrinkles in the back, the middle of it is almost perfect but it's always the back corners. I'd say that's probably not an interior guy's job or work. Start her up. Do I have something on my lens? Hold on. There we go. Look, I was seeing something. GoPro sent me this camera back. I had to get another one after a thousand videos I guess it started messing up the weather stripping around the doors looks new checking the under part the carpet is in great shape the seats not all ripped up it looks good let's try these windshield wipers they're not working Windshield wipers are gonna need some help. Coming over here. Blower motor is working. The AC is not going to uh, cut on because there's no belt on it. Radio. It's cutting on. But I'm not hearing any sound. Horn, no horn on this one. Tack, 
is working. Speedometer is working. It is showing 88,000 miles. I cannot stand behind that in a 68 model because there's no proof. Definitely sounds good. Nice and quiet. Insulation's up under the hood still, nice and clean. Coming down with the hood. Just barely pull down on it, starts falling. That's sharp. I'm definitely a Chevelle guy. <laughs> I love the way they look. Okay, we've made it all the way around this car. Check the interior out, the trunk under the hood. Uh, check our vinyl top and all the areas there that, that would be problematic. Now we're gonna go ahead and give you some undercarriage shots. I want you to go to maplemotors.com and have close to 100 detailed pictures of the undercarriage of this car. We're gonna start up here in the front and then get back to the test drive. appreciate y'all watching check out maplemotors.com for financing shipping information close to 100 detailed pictures all of our inventory is updated every monday and be sure to check every monday normally the cars that we post on monday are sold by wednesday people are always like oh you always got stuff advertised online and it's sold already well it was once for sale i promise they usually just go pretty quick within a couple days so check on Mondays. That's the best advice I can give to get the car that you're wanting. I do appreciate y'all watching. Hit that subscribe button and share these videos. It helps us out greatly. I'm going to go ahead and start my test drive video up again and take her down the road. You can locate that in the last 30 seconds of this video or just type in 1968 Chevelle Maple Motors hashtag 892 is the stock number. You can also put that in the YouTube search bar and you can pull up any of our cars. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see y'all later.